Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to continue on that journey of testing for infertility. So last week, we talked about uh, the comprehensive blood lab, looking at different markers in your routine blood work that can show or uh, identify some problems with patients who have infertility. Today, we're going to talk about functional medicine testing or quote unquote, alternative lab testing. Things that we would t traditionally not look for in the traditional medical model, right? So in the functional medicine testing world for infertility, uh, most patients come in and they have a gamut of different tests. They've already run a bun bunch of blood tests, uh, sperm antibodies, sperm analysis, hormone testing, and so forth. So when they come into our office, our job is to identify other factors that may impact infertility. So male and female hormones could be tested in blood, urine, and saliva. So it's important to look at hormone pathways uh, when we're trying to get pregnant because we have to have certain levels of hormones to get pregnant. Urinary solvents and pesticides. You can look to see if you have excess loads of different uh, pesticides and different chemicals that could impact how we may be able to get pregnant. We have another test called Cyrex Array 11, and this is a different test from this one in the fact that we're looking for antibodies to the chemicals. So let's say you have chemicals in our body, right? We have a certain load, right? Everybody has a certain load. But the problem is certain patients will produce antibodies to those chemicals, creating an inflammatory cascade. So when we have not just a, a solvents and chemicals that we're looking at, but we have antibodies, that's a big red flag, right? Why are we producing uh, an immune response to certain chemicals, right? So you have to be able to dampen that. Another one is adrenal stress profile. And the reason is stress impacts hormonal pathways, chronic stress, emotional, chemical stress, right? So you have to look at uh, the salivary adrenal panel to see if our stress hormones are managed, are we sleeping well, are we fatigued throughout the day? So an adrenal saliva profile would be a, a good thing to do as a baseline. And then we also want to make sure our essential fats are at a good level, right? Your omegas, right? Omega-3s. You want to have to have good levels of good fats in our system in order to get pregnant. And then we also do a comprehensive stool analysis. So what does stool analysis have anything to do with infertility? Well, the gut microbiome, right? Uh, which has billions of billions and trillions of actually cells in our, in our gut, uh, produce hormones, is it responsible for immune responses, is for, it, uh, responsible for producing um, certain uh, hormonal pathways. So it's very important to look at stool analysis because you're looking at the gut microbiome. You also can rule out pathologies, right? Infections, worms, H. pylori infections. Uh, is there any inflammation in the gut, right? Do we have any sensitivities? You can look at your entire gut microbiome and say, hmm, maybe our, my gut is not too healthy, therefore it's creating some inflammatory response, maybe I have a pathogen. So it's very important to do that, right? So when we have a patient who comes in and they've already gone through the medical route and they've done a bunch of different tests and they still have a, uh, a problem, uh, getting pregnant, we start to look at this type of panel, right? We're looking at hormone pathways in the blood, saliva, or sometimes you can do it in the urine. You're looking for chemicals, antibodies to chemicals, and then looking at uh, adrenal stress, cortisol patterns. Uh, we're also looking at stool analysis for the gut microbiome, right? So if you want to truly kind of dig deep into why there's underlying mechanism, then we can do these tests. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.